today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken tikka masala. Yeah, you heard me right. We're making chicken and you know I have so many chicken recipes but I love chicken. So this is another recipe. So chicken tikka masala is an Indian cuisine. If you love Indian food, this is it and this is the video for you. So stay tuned until the end of the video and then you are going to learn how to make this awesome and delicious chicken tikka masala. I am excited. Ha! So, in a bowl I have chicken breast. It is boneless. I have diced the chicken breast into cubes. So I am going to be adding my spices. So it is a very simple recipe as I've said. So yeah, I have garam masala, turmeric, paprika and cumin. So that is what I'm going to be using and also black pepper and salt. Yeah. So I'm going to add my spices in my chicken. Then I'm going to add juice of half a lemon, just like that. Then I'm going to add some of my crushed garlic and ginger. And you can find all the ingredients listed in the description box down below. Then I'm going to use my spatula and mix everything to combine. Marinating with garlic and ginger adds a lot of flavor to the dish because all that yumminess is going to get soft up in the chicken and hence your chicken is going to be very delicious. Now I'm going to mix all the ingredients together. Once everything is well combined, as you can see, I'm going to let my chicken marinate for at least 30 minutes or refrigerate the chicken overnight. And overnight is always the best because, but because I have no time to refrigerate my chicken overnight, I'm going to be doing it for 30 minutes. So see you after 30 minutes. Now my chicken is ready to cook. So I'm going to pick my pan. And then on medium flame, I'm going to add cooking oil. About two tablespoons of oil. And then I'm going to wait for the oil to get hot. Once my oil is hot, I'm going to add my chicken in the pan. the chicken in the pan then I'm going to wait for my chicken to cook so I'm going to flip my chicken as it cooks and you know how chicken breast usually cooks in a very short while so this is not going to take so long the aroma in the kitchen is amazing because we use garlic and ginger and also the spices make the kitchen smell so good. And also make sure that your chicken is in one layer so that it can evenly cook. This recipe is full of flavor. And I love how chicken soaks in all those delicious flavors from the from the garlic and ginger and the spices. I just love chicken. Yeah, it's it's usually so good. So also, you can check out some of my other chicken recipes in the description box down. So this is how it's looking. So you can see it. The water has dried up and now we are frying our, our chicken in its own oil. At this point you'll be tempted to pick a piece of soup. <laughs> so I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. Then in the same pan going to add cooking oil just a little bit of cooking oil for frying our onions 
fry the oil and then I'm going to add onions that is one medium onion star cook the onions until soft and as you can see we have bits of chicken and the chicken oil this is going to add a lot of flavor to our food next I'm going to add my remaining crushed garlic and ginger star then, then I'll cook until soft once the garlic is fragrant I'm going to add tomatoes Star. then I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste stir in then I let my tomatoes cook together with the tomato paste Then to this I'm going to add salt. And a little bit of black pepper, like a pinch. Yeah. Because earlier on we had added spices to our marinated chicken. I love the color. Wow. This is a very nice color. <laughs> Have that deep red that the tomato has because we added the tomato paste if you don't like the tomato paste you can skip that part it is optional but it usually adds a lot of flavor to food this is how it's looking and my tomatoes are ready i'm using medium heat to cook my tomatoes so to this i'm going to add coconut cream stir in the coconut cream so that it can combine together with the tomato sauce wow this is looking good then I'm going to reduce the flame to low I want my coconut cream to cook with the tomatoes so I'll have to reduce the heat so that it doesn't burn this is looking amazing once my sauce has cooked for about a minute I'm going to add one cup water stir in the water and then I'm going to bring back the flames to medium. Make sure the water is well combined with the sauce. And then I'm going to add my chicken. This is going to be very delicious. Can't wait. So stir in the chicken to combine with the sauce and at this point I'm also going to squeeze in half a lemon and then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of sugar just to reduce the acidity of the tomatoes and tomato paste and then I'm going to let my chicken simmer for 10 minutes on medium low so I'm going to garnish with coriander stir in the coriander turn off the heat and my chicken tikka masala is ready. Wow.
my chicken tikka masala is ready as you can see and i've already served so you can pair this chicken with rice chapati naan mashed potatoes and it will be very delicious so i hope you try out this recipe and thank you so much for watching until the end of the video bye In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make barbecue chicken thighs and it's going to be absolutely amazing and delicious. If you're new here, I'm Scovia and welcome to Input Specials where the recipes are always simple and delicious. So stay tuned until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing recipe. So yeah, I have a kg of chicken thighs which I've washed. If you don't wash your chicken, please wash your chicken. <laughs> Then in the chicken, I'm going to add paprika, garlic powder, black pepper, chicken, spice, salt, and two cloves of garlic. That is what I'm going to be adding in my chicken. Before anything, I'm going to part dry my chicken because I washed it. So you make sure to use your kitchen towel to dry, to part dry your chicken. See how dry it is. That is what we want. Once the chicken is dry, I'm going to add my spices. My garlic cloves, which I've just crushed the garlic to a fine paste. Then salt. Lastly, add a couple dashes of my chicken masala spice. and oil almost forgot that <laughs> then using my spatula i'm going to or you can use your hands i'm going to mix the chicken together with the spices so that each and every piece can be coated with the goodness Once everything is well combined, I'm going to marinate this for 30 minutes to one hour, or you can marinate it overnight. That is going to give you a very good result. So, I'll let this sit for 30 minutes. Preheat your oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Then you line your baking tray with foil if you don't have the baking tray you can use this one this baking tin <laughs> we are lining the baking tray with foil so that it, it will be easier for you to clean so now i'm going to place my chicken which has been marinating in my baking tin just like that You've placed the chicken with the skin side up and it already smells so good and it hasn't even we have not started cooking the chicken so we'll try and create space once done you're going to place your chicken in the oven and bake or roast for 20 minutes when my chicken is baking i'm going to be making potato wedges so here I have paprika, garlic powder, turmeric, black pepper, salt, and cooking oil. That is what I'm going to be using. So I'll add this in my big bowl over here, which has potato wedges. What I did, I peeled the potatoes, then I chopped them into wedges, dried them up, and then now I'm adding my spices, and I'm going to be showing you what you're going to be doing. So I'll add black pepper salt you add a generous amount of salt then i'll add cooking oil
I'll put this aside. Then using my spatula, I'm going to mix in the spices so that every potato can be coated with the spices. So make sure all the spices are well combined into the potato wedges. By waiting for the potatoes to sit for about 5 to 20 minutes, it's because I want the spices to soak the potatoes, hence we will be having very nice potato wedges. They are looking amazing already. I'm going to let this sit for around 20 minutes as my chicken cooks and then I'm going to show you the next step. Next I'm going to be showing you how to make our barbecue sauce. So here I have a small pot. I'm going to switch on my gas and then I'm going to reduce the flame to medium low. Yeah. So next I'll add one cup ketchup. Just like that. And then I'm going to add cumin, black pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. Next, I'm going to add mustard. We need a little bit of tangy, tanginess, yeah. A couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce to whatever <laughs> and lastly a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of water then I'm going to use my spatula and stir in all the ingredients together if you don't have mustard you can use white vinegar and if you don't have brown sugar you can use the regular sugar but brown sugar usually adds a lot of flavor to the barbecue sauce and also if you have mustard and you don't like it in your barbecue sauce you can skip that part so i'm going to let this simmer a little bit for around one to five minutes on low As my barbecue sauce simmers, I'm going to add some oil in my baking tray. Then I'll spread using my brush. Just like that. Make sure every corner of the baking tray is coated with oil. Then I'm going to add my potatoes in the baking tray. Like that. Then I'm going to arrange my wedges in a single layer. That's why I'm using this baking tray, this oven baking tray, because it is usually large. My dinner is going to be lit. <laughs> this is my dinner. As you can see, my barbecue sauce is bubbling. So I'm going to wait for it to cook about two more minutes. As you can see, the sauce is thickening up. That is what we want. You don't want to have your barbecue sauce runny you want it thicken up and if you have the store-bought one you can also use that I just chose to show you how you can make barbecue sauce at home so my sauce is ready and it's very thick so i'm going to wait for it to cool and then i'm going to baste my chicken yeah So it's been 20 minutes and I've already removed my chicken from the 
oven and it's looking amazing it's crispy on the outside and very moist on the inside and here i have my barbecue sauce i have divided the barbecue sauce in two because once you insert this brush in the barbecue sauce and you place the brush on the chicken the entire barbecue sauce is going to be contaminated so you can't store that see <laughs> so i'm going to use a little and then i baste the chicken and then i baste the chicken first So I am going to baste my chicken thighs with this amazing barbecue sauce. It's very tasty. Trust me, once you make it, you'll be making it when having your barbecue. So you make sure to cut each and every piece of chicken with this amazing sauce. So I've already placed my potatoes in the oven and I'm going to bake my potato wedges at 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. So as my chicken bakes, as my chicken roast, I'm going to be making my wages so once i'm done basting the chicken i'm going to return it in the oven for 10 minutes so this is how my chicken is looking after 10 minutes i'm going to baste it with some more barbecue sauce and it's smelling so good once you try out this recipe you're surely going to enjoy each and every bite So once done, I'm going to return this in the oven for five more minutes. So I'm done making my barbecue chicken thighs and my wedges and as you can see, look absolutely delicious so i hope you try out this recipe at home and make for your family and they will surely enjoy indulging in this goodness so catch you on my next one bye hi if you're new here, I'm Scovia and welcome to Info Specials where the recipes are always simple and amazing. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken wrap. It's a very simple process or it is a very simple recipe with minimal ingredients but very delicious. So stay tuned until the end of the video and learn how to make this amazing, amazing recipe. <laughs> I'm not trying to lure you in. It is delicious. So here I have boneless chicken. I'm using chicken breast and you know how it cooks fast. <laughs> so my, I'm going to add my chicken breast in my bowl. So I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, salt. I'm using like a half teaspoon of salt because I'm not, I'm, I'm only using two chicken breasts. <laughs> add half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of paprika so the paprika is going to give us color <laughs> so i cut my chicken into strips that's why it's not looking whole so it is chicken strips these are chicken strips to this i'm going to add <laughs> oil like a tablespoon of oil then i'm going to mix in Make sure that every piece of chicken is coated with the spices. Once everything is well combined, I'm going to marinate your chicken for at least 30 minutes. Or if you have time, you can marinate the chicken overnight. It's going to give you awesome results. But because I don't have the time today, I'm just going to be making my chicken straight straightforward yeah 
no waiting for the chicken to marinate so yeah i have a grill pan and it's already very hot yeah you need your pan or whatever you're using to be very hot because we need to sear the chicken yeah so i'm using medium medium high flame yeah so i'm going to transfer my chicken into the pan so you carefully place the chicken You make sure that the chicken is in a single layer so that it can evenly cook. And it's already smelling so good. Wow. Wow. So we're going to cook the chicken two to three minutes on each side. If you're using less flame, you're going to cook the chicken for a bit longer. Yeah. But you should know that chicken breast is a little in a very short while you don't want to overcook your chicken your chicken breast because it's going to dry off mine is looking amazing so i'm going to check on my chicken and then i'm going to flip wow look at that There, finally, <laughs> I'm done flipping the chicken. So make sure each and every piece of chicken is cooked on both sides. And as you can see, we have a very nice color on the chicken. Yeah, and it's smelling so good. <laughs> My chicken breasts are ready, so I'm going to transfer this to a plate. The next I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to, to make my sauce. <laughs> so to a small bowl, I'm going to add ketchup. Mayonnaise. And then I'm going to add some sriracha, like one big tablespoon of sriracha. And I'm running out of sriracha. <laughs> until everything is combined when everything is combined here is the fun part so I'm going to be making my wraps with chapati I have leftover chapatis over here so I'm going to assemble mine yeah <laughs> it is that easy so you can also use a tortilla you can go to the supermarket or you can make yours at home <laughs> So mine today I'm going to be using leftover chapati. Still the same. So my counter my countertop is clean. So don't judge. <laughs> it is very clean. I'm going to be showing you how I'll assemble my <laughs> chapati wrap, my chicken wrap. Okay. I have shredded carrot and cabbage and my chicken and my sauce. That is all I'm going to be adding in my chapati. So I'm going to add a little bit of carrots add some more and then i'm going to add a little bit of cabbage if you have lettuce you can also use that just a little bit and then i'm going to add my chicken so i'm going to add a little bit of chicken in there so that every bite will have some chicken to bite in like that then i'm going to add or top with my sauce 
you can add as much as you like or you can add as little as you want so here is how you're going to fold you're going to fold in like that fold the sides and then i'm going to tuck in my chicken then i'm going to wrap it up like that see how neat it is then i'm going to place it in my my pan my grill pan the pan that i use to make the chicken like that then i'm going to do some more some carrots cabbage you can skip cabbage if you don't like cabbage raw cabbage this is just like coleslaw if you eat coleslaw <laughs> then this is just okay chicken and sauce Tuck in your chicken. Just like that. Place it in my pan. And then finish off making this chicken wrap. I like how you can make so many recipes from chicken breast. It is usually so versatile. And it's easy to make. So I find myself using chicken breast. Like, yeah, mo most of the time I use chicken breast. <laughs> So, but you can you can also use uh, any other part of chicken like chicken thighs you just debone the chicken thighs so this is my last one my chicken breast is very delicious and you can notice the carrots the cabbage the juicy chicken breast and the sauce and trust me if you try and make this chicken wrap you will definitely love so another thing you should use a very large chapati because if you use a small one and you add so much so much filling the chapati will maybe split or do something so make sure that your chapati is very big and even using a small one you just add little amounts of filling and also you can use a tortilla and it will still work even better than chapati but because today i just wanted to show you a very nice recipe that you can use with chapati at home <laughs> and my chapati survived so i hope you try out the recipe and follow me on instagram because i have amazing content over there you can check the link over here <laughs> so catch you on my next one bye